So when? Three. I'm tying my pants. Can you hurry up? Hey guys, welcome back to Shin to Shin. I'm Andrew. And I'm Mark. And we're back with another episode. And this week we're doing... What are uh, we doing? You didn't tell me this one. We, I, we talked about it. Yeah, but, but you guys are like, what was the name we're of We're doing this? like fried chicken bites in gochujang sauce. Or gochujang fried chicken. Now you know. Okay. Well, I mean, you already, you already said it, so I don't, I don't have to say anything. <laughs> um, so we're going to go back on our theme to fried foods because... Everyone loves fried foods, and fried food videos seem to do really well, <laughs> according to what we've seen. So we thought we'd do uh, something that is a um, uh, uh, popular Korean food, which is uh, fried chicken. And what we're going to do is then, after we fried the chicken, um, we're going to toss it in our gochujang sauce that we did uh, before for our gochujang wings, right? Oh, yeah, that's the sauce. Those are delicious. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, awesome. So, Mark, um, do you want to run through the ingredients and then we can get started? Okay. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button so you can get notified and look at all of our newest videos that we make. And thank you for your support. Hey, guys. So, uh, we did it again. We cut off our mics while recording uh, a portion of the video and, and so what I'm going to do is narrate through these parts here. So uh, we're going to list off the ingredients that we're using for our gochujang fried chicken and so we have our cornstarch that we're going to use to dredge the chicken when we deep fry it. We have our honey and that's going to be used in the gochujang sauce uh, as well as the minced garlic. We have our salt and pepper, our sesame oil, we have our um, soy sauce as well. Uh, we have a variety of spices, garlic, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, and cumin. And that'll go into the chicken. Uh, we have our gochujang paste, a couple of eggs that we're gonna use as an egg wash, our toasted sesame seeds, uh, a couple of green onions that we'll use as, uh, with, uh, for the gochujang sauce as well. And then uh, green chili peppers. These are Korean green chili peppers that we will use as garnish. So we'll chop them up into small pieces and then garnish the fried chicken with that. So next, I'm going to prep our chicken by cutting it up into bite-sized pieces. And while I'm prepping the chicken, Mark is going to cut up the green onions into uh, very thin slices, and that we'll use in our gochujang sauce. Okay, so we have our chicken prepped and the bowl ready to go. Um, so we'll set that aside. Uh, but first, what we're going to do is prepare our gochujang sauce. And so we'll start with our gochujang paste. And we have, um, I think, about four, three to four tablespoons of gochujang paste. Then we'll do uh, a heaping spoonful of honey. We have a, about a half a tablespoon of minced garlic. And then a tablespoon of sesame oil. And we also have about a tablespoon and a half of soy sauce. And then we add one quarter cup of water and that'll give our sauce the consistency that we want. Then finally we will add the chopped onions, green onions, and mix that in. And we have our gochujang sauce. So next we're going to add our spices to our chopped chicken and uh, we'll add uh, a couple of pinches of salt, uh, a couple of pinches of pepper as well. And then our, our spice mix. So we have again our garlic powder, our onion powder and our cumin. We used about uh, a couple of teaspoons of each. 
and then Mark's doing a great job mixing that in. Okay, so we're ready to deep fry our chicken. We have our uh, usual pan that we use for deep frying. Uh, we filled it up with cooking oil about an inch and a half deep and uh, it's at about 330 degrees. Uh, we have our uh, egg wash ready. So all we're going to do, Mark, and you can do this as well, is just take a handful of pieces at yeah. a time. It's going to just, you know... Egg and then... Egg wash. Right. I shouldn't have thrown them on like that. That's Mark's specialty. Yeah, I know. Coat it, yeah. Make sure it's completely coated all the way around. Just drop them in. Okay. Kind of like powdered tender. Yeah. Do I put this on? Yeah. So we want to let the chicken fry for about four to five minutes, and then we'll take them out and put them on this uh, drying rack. So it's been about five minutes. I'm going to take them out of the oil. Nice job, Mark. Thank you. Yep. Okay, Mark. So you can uh, you can finish off the rest of them. Yeah, you can grab a few at a time. Yep. Yep. All right. Nice work, Mark. And then again, we'll let these fry for about five minutes. And then we'll take them out, put them on the drying rack. And then what we're going to do is a method called double frying. Make the chicken even crispier. We're going to put them in for another two minutes, get another uh, shot of frying, and uh, they should be really super crispy and, and really good. Okay, so we're ready to do our double fry method. So all we're going to do is, I'm just gonna do a batch at a time. We'll start with that batch there, and let that go for a few minutes. We have our fried chicken bites all done, and we did that method of uh, frying them uh, twice. And so it looks really crispy. And uh, we did try a few. They're crispy on the outside and juicy and tender on the inside. So really a, a great outcome. Uh, what we're going to do next is we have our gochujang sauce. So we're gonna take maybe about half of this because I know Michael wanted to eat the, the fried chicken on its own without the sauce. So we'll take about half, put in the sauce, toss them in the sauce, garnish them with some of the chopped chili peppers and the toasted sesame seeds. Put in like a few scoops. Yeah. A few big scoops. Can this top the wings? Let's find out. Well, I'm just Let's be able to top those wings. That's a pretty good coating technique. I think we need a, just a little bit more. Pretty good. Yeah. That almost okay. looks like buffalo chicken bites, you know, when you go to a bar. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. That looks okay. delicious. We'll just put a few of these here. Don't ask Mark to do that. Why? He has super clammy hands. There we go. A gochujang fried chicken. There you have it, our gochujang fried chicken. Um, I'm just hungry. Really? Let's um, dig in. Yeah, thanks sure. for uh, thanks for helping make this, Mark. Yeah, no problem. All right. I'm gonna go for this big one right here. Yeah. All right. Moment of truth. Wow, that's definitely good. Mmm. And it sounds crispy still. Yeah. Still crispy. The double frying method certainly helped, and um, the gochujang sauce is good. It's not super spicy, but 
you know, just enough. But with the honey and the uh, gochujang sauce, it's a uh, good balance. No, this is just right. It's perfect. You don't have a drink? Hmm? You don't have a drink? Hmm. I'll get one. Hear that crunch. As you can see, we polished them off in no time. <laughs> nice. Actually, we had some help, right, Mark? From your little brother, Michael. So while we were eating off camera, Michael came down and polished off probably a third of this as well. The dude came down, grabbed a, like a little plate. He went, okay, I'm gonna grab this. Start piling this, this, them this. on. He went like this, and he went back upstairs. Yeah. Well, it's good, he loves it. And uh, who can argue? We d I think we did a really good job with this. What do you think? Definitely did a good job on it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode of Shin to Shin uh, with our gochujang fried chicken. And I um, uh, hope that you'll try it at home and let us know what you think. So thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to comment. Well, comment a recipe that you want us to try. Um, yeah. Like, subscribe. And, you know, share this video to people who you think will be interested in this. Yeah, definitely share our content. Really appreciate all the support uh, we've been getting on our channel. And we've constantly been growing little by little. I think we're at uh, over 160 subscribers now, a week after from our last video. We were at just over 150, so, uh, so we continue to grow. We love the support. We really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social medias at Shin to Shin on TikTok and Instagram. All right, now goodbye. Take care, goodbye. guys. Goodbye.